they've got a lot more ingredients now available to them than they had when we started this whole shebang. And the shebang he's talking about is the finals of the culinary cook-off here at the Cox Convention Center. I'm Dave Morris. We're live here on NewsOK.com, joined by the food dude himself, the Oklahoman's food editor, Dave Cathy, who is among the judges. And Dave, we've made it to the finals. It's very exciting. I love this event. A lot of fun. We have David Wynn. He's with the Oklahoma City Golf and Country Club. We have Michael Paskey. He's with Cafe 7. Those are our finalists today. They made it through heats yesterday. They made it through heats this morning. So now they have an hour to take these very rustic, exotic ingredients and turn them into a three-course uh, three meal. The Convention and Expo here at the Cox Center started on Wednesday. We had the cocktail shakedown yesterday. It was a one-day event. You can watch that video online at newsok.com. But as Dave mentioned, the two finalists here were actually in Heat 1 and Heat 2 yesterday. They won those two heats, advanced to another round, and then to today. You have been among the judges, as I mentioned. I believe we were five judges, perhaps. That's right. That's right. A motley crew of people with good culinary tastes. Uh, what are some of the things you've sampled? I know yesterday you had quail for breakfast and maybe some frog legs. Yeah, today was uh, we, we saw some really inspired dishes. We started out... Uh, with some uh, New Zealand lamb and some red snapper that they had to turn into one dish uh, with some uh, some udon noodles. Today the twist was they had to have a they had a theme and they picked by lottery they picked a theme and the first theme was southern food with uh, those two dishes which was a uh, quite a challenge but they did a great job. So by southern food does that mean extra butter or does that mean fried <laughs> gravy? Yeah, no fried definitely. Uh, Michael won. Uh, he, he fried. He did a really beautiful batter fried red snapper. It was it, it was sort of like the, probably the key dish on his plate that that pushed him through. I did a great job and then uh, the second one let me think. It, it was an Jeff, Italian theme. They had baby. We had go. baby uh, octopus, and we had pork. And now those uh, ingredients were much more conducive to the right, so to Italian food and a little easier. So, but the standards were probably a little higher. And David did a beautiful job with his. The baby, the baby octopus, is very difficult to get uh, palatable in that amount of time because there's a lot of. Uh, massaging and, and beating of those uh, octopus that you got to do. That's a lot of texture involved. I've had it some is. squid before, and it's definitely an acquired taste. Yes. Although, I say acquired taste, if a chef knows what they're doing, they can make pretty much anything taste really good. You acquire it pretty quickly when it's in the right hands. And they did a great job. They really did. I'm gonna. I am gonna order mine with no hair. Uh, that's a little bit, a uh, little bit frightening there. But uh, we were looking at the stage, and and they had the big reveal here, Dave. Uh, just to recap this, we're at the Oklahoma Restaurant Association Convention and Expo, the finals of the culinary cook-off. Uh, they're interviewing Chef John Bennett right now about some of the things he's looking at. They just unveiled the ingredients to our finalists. Our final two uh, chefs are David Wynn from Oklahoma City Golf and Country Club and Michael Cass, uh, Paskey from Cafe 7. Dave, what are the ingredients that they have to cook with here? All right, looks like we got some wild boar, uh, uh, a completely broken down wild boar. So basically anything that you want. There's some gooey duck, which is... Uh, what is gooey duck? Oh boy. <laughs> it is a really big clam, basically. A really large, frightening looking clam. So that was the, uh, well, they just uh, dissolved out of that, but that was the device looking thing sitting in the big martini glasses. Yeah, it's there. And now, gooey duck is going to be a real challenge for these guys. It is not something that you see very often. The big boar sitting there is not going to be a big challenge. <laughs> you know what? As much of a challenge as that's going to be, the gooey duck will probably, they, they, will, they will have worked with parts of this before. There's a really good chance they've never worked with gooey duck because uh, it's, it's hard to get. It's hard to get. And it's not gooey. It's not actually gooey. It's just a clam. And it's not even spelled like gooey. I can't even spell gooey duck for you. It's, it's very exotic. I've had it I'm, and really enjoyed it, but I can tell you it's really, really difficult. And I believe there's a fish up there as well. Was that a, uh, a snapper maybe? You know what? I don't think I, I don't think I caught it. I'll, I'll, for our next update, I'll have a better grasp. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm catching it here just like everybody else. Food product, I believe they said, was uh, provided by Super Cow Win. Yeah, Super Cow Win did a lot of it. Market Source is the lead, uh, uh, the lead uh, on this uh, on this here event. That did all the the kitchen. They provided the kitchen. So yeah, a lot of great stuff. In there. It's the Oklahoma Restaurant Association Expo. Over 6,000 people were expected yesterday and today for this event. A lot of vendors, a lot of industry types, restaurants, bars, 
uh, from the liquor industry and the restaurant association. This is a fantastic setup we're looking at here. Oh yeah, they, I mean, this is first rate. They have everything they need back there. They've got a great oven. They've got great uh, prep area and a, and a fantastic pantry that has just been growing with each heat. And then the, the other thing that the chefs have is they have some uh, students working with them behind them, some young culinary students. Whoever wins, the culinary student also wins. So everybody's got a stake in this event. And I believe they are competing for uh, prizes that are around the $3,000 range or second, third, and fourth prices as well. And those culinary students you mentioned, they're on the hook for some prizes too. That's right. They have a little cash coming their way. And what has been the, the trend is the uh, students who are make it this far help their chef win money. It usually turns right, into a job. Well, as they're uh, tossing it back to Randy Lunsford for the, uh, <laughs> for the mood music, maybe he's going to kick into some Frank Sinatra for us. Dave, one last question for you before we kick it back to the stage. What are you looking for as a judge? They have, I believe, three dishes they're preparing here. Right. You know, it really comes down to the, the, the main ingredients that they're, that they're supposed to spotlight. I want to see those prepared and executed as best they possibly can. That's step one. That's the foundation. After that, you get that down, then show some technical, you know, some technical expertise, show some flourishes, and, and some that you put a little bit of thought into it. But yeah, execute. That's always the thing. It's got to taste good. And frankly, that's all that matters at the end of the day is how does it, how does it taste? Uh, among the things that our contestants have been judged on these two days, uh, plate presentation, creativity, the product taste, and sanitation practices, which is always huge. That's right. You gotta, I mean, this is a chef's competition. You know, it's not just for, for show. This is to show that you actually know what you're doing when you're in the kitchen. So they take, they take into account those things. And they, for this round, or for the last two rounds, you know, the, how well did you adhere to the theme? Uh, today, there'll probably be some, you know, some marks for how quickly you put your dish out since you are doing this and say what how what was your timing like you know are you following up your dishes properly so you know it's 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 a true restaurant competition unlike a lot of shows where they they're doing things that would never actually happen in a restaurant this would be a little bit of a stretch <laughs> but it could be done all right we'll send it back to the stage here's the oklahoma restaurant association expo and convention at the cox convention center we will be live over the next 45 minutes as these chefs prepare an appetizer, an entree, and dessert. Dave, we'll let you get back to the judging, and we'll be back shortly.